What? Who's that? What do you want? Um, hey, got a sec? All right, what's up? That's all for now. Okay.
time to die. What now? What happened here? Well, in a way I tried to warn you. I can see in your eyes that this is not what you expected to find. I'm sorry. I can't believe it. Everything is burned. Dead. There's nothing left. Absolutely nothing from my past. And well... Do you think that here you will find what you are looking for? No, probably not. I'm sorry. Maybe this will help you understand. Nothing is like it used to be. Not even people. The Commonwealth has changed. And if you want to survive, you must be prepared to forget and change. I just hoped... I just wanted to find... You know... Something that would give me the strength to carry on. But I think you're right. I think this world has nothing to offer me. Hey! Up here! Please, I need help. It's urgent. My wife and I are stuck here. She needs medicine. Come quickly! What? Who are you? There is no time to lose. Please, just come quickly. How is it possible? Why are there people in a place like this? I don't know. But this is a good thing. Follow me and pay attention. It's time for you to learn how things work out here. And another thing. Have your weapon ready. You can never know when it's an ambush. Wait. An ambush? Why would someone want to hurt us in a place like this? There are many other threats. Don't be naive. The most dangerous thing you'll find out here are people. Raiders, gunners, cultists, murderers, thieves, rapists. All the shit from the old world. But now there are no laws. Now we make the law. We take care of doing justice if necessary. Remember that. I understand. I will not lower my guard. Let's see what that boy wants.
Hey there. Don't worry, Scarlet. I've got help. We'll find your medicine. You'll be fine, I promise. Could you explain to me what is happening here? Yes, of course. Thanks for coming to help. I'm Jackie, and this is Scarlet, my wife. We are both scientists. We dedicated ourselves to studying ghouls, developing chemical compounds to prevent their attacks. Wow, that sounds amazing. And I guess that's the problem too, right? Does that have to do with the fact that she is unconscious? Yes, in part. We chose this location because of the high radiation levels, easy to find test subjects. As you can see, we are not mercenaries. We cannot fight with weapons or things like that. But we are scientists, brilliant minds. We use a chemical we develop to increase our radiation levels. That allows us to blend in with the ghouls. The glowing sea is a pretty dangerous place not to carry weapons, don't you think? Don't get me wrong, we are not warriors. We are scientists. We use our intelligence to defend ourselves. By the way, are you two twins? I've read about twins in science books, but I've never seen them in real life. You think we're twins? You're not from the Commonwealth, are you? No. We come from the largest city in the capital wasteland, Rivet City, a place of science and prosperity. Wow. Did you hear that, little bro? We have visitors from outside the Commonwealth. Impressive! That place is quite far away. Welcome to the Commonwealth. Or what's left of it. I understand. I guess you guys used a lot of this chemical and ended up in this situation. No, none of that. A Deathclaw came out of the ground and attacked us. The Horde went on alert and we had to flee. We had to use a second dose of the chemical to hide ourselves, but she used the wrong one. She injected herself with a fluid with an immense amount of radiation. After a few minutes, she lost consciousness. I need you to help me recover the medicine to eliminate the radiation from her body. Please. You are our only hope. I understand. Where can I find this medicine? Right in the middle of the church. The Deathclaw that attacked us swallowed the briefcase with the medicine. The Deathclaw started behaving strangely. Before I could react, he started digging and hid underground. You'll have to kill that thing. I can't do it. I can't even kill a mole rat. I can't save my own wife. I'm trash. I'm not sure I should trust you. Please at least listen to what I have to say. I promise this is not a scam. We'll talk about that later. I'll bring the medicine for you. Really? Thank you so much. Did you hear that, Scarlet? You'll be fine. Just hold on a little longer. Wow. I'm surprised. I'm glad to see you help people who need you. I feel proud to be with you. Don't be so proud yet. Killing a Deathclaw isn't easy. You better be careful. Let's investigate the place. I guess we were lucky that Thing didn't attack us earlier. By the way, did you hear what he said? It does not make any sense. Deathclaws are not burrowing creatures. So? Do you think he is lying? Not at all. But don't you remember what was being built in this place? The subway station. Wait, you think that thing dug to get there? Exactly. That station was never finished building. Also, before the bombs fell, the church was closed to expand it. If I remember correctly, Toby told us they had dug an entrance from the church towards the metro station. It must be somewhere in the main room. We can use it to get in there. To be honest, the idea scares me. I agree, we must be careful. Let's find that hatch. I follow you. Hey, if you're done searching, can I have a bite? Hey, did you need anything? Hey there. Things are a bit complicated. Have you been able to collect anything useful? Sure, what do you need? Nothing, never mind. Got it. That's all for now. Okay.
What's up?
Please tell me you have good news. Now that I have the medicine, what about my reward? I hope you have something good to offer. Sorry, I don't have much to offer. At least not for someone like you. What could interest you? Fine. Forget it. Thanks for being understanding. By the way, what kind of things did you have in that briefcase? That death claw was really high. Hmm. I would say a lot of Rataway, Radex, Psycho, Jet, Hallucigen Gas, and some other stuff. Definitely a combination you don't want to eat at the same time. Good news. I managed to recover the medicine. By the way, due to all the drugs the Deathclaw ate, he was high as hell. It was kind of funny to watch. It's a joke? Is facing a Deathclaw something you find funny? Please, just give me the medicine. I don't think Scarlet will resist much longer. Right. I almost forgot. Sorry. Take the medicine. I hope it helps. Thank you. I will administer it to her immediately. Scarlet, take this. It'll make you feel better. Please. I hope it's not too late. Jockey, is that you? Where I am? My head. It hurts a lot. Wait. The ghouls. Where are they? Don't worry, Scarlet. Everything is fine. We're out of danger. These people helped us. They helped me get the medicine to cure you. Heal me? I don't understand. What happened to me? You mistakenly injected yourself with a highly irradiated compound. That caused you to become unconscious. Really? I cannot remember anything. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused. Don't worry about that now. Try to get some rest. You have to recover your energy. You're right. I must rest. Thank you for what you did for me, for both of us. It means a lot to me. Wait a second. This is impossible. Are you two twins? I never thought that I would see twins in real life. I had read about people like you in science books. But I never thought of seeing something like this. Wait a second. People like us? That sounds somewhat offensive. Although I suppose you're right, friend. I guess before the war twins weren't common either. In any case, I would recommend that you leave the Commonwealth. Or you could end up coming face to face with more twins. Wait, what do you mean by that? There is more? Is it common in the Commonwealth? This could be very interesting. That's enough, Scarlet. You have to rest. Besides, our friends are quite busy. Don't keep bothering them. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. I hope you have a good trip, and thank you very much for saving my life. Don't worry, it was a pleasure to help. You better get some rest. Well, we've already spent a lot of time here. We will continue on our way. Good luck to both of you. Thanks again for everything. Have a good trip. Hey. What's up? Hey there. You're amazing! You managed to save her life. That was incredible. It wasn't just me. You helped me a lot, too. You must be proud. Without your help, she would not have survived. We should always try to help the people of the Commonwealth. I guess that will help us build a better world. You're right. Maybe in a way it's too late for me. Well, for us. But that doesn't mean we can't help others. Thank you for this important lesson. I will always try to help those who need us. That's something great. Well, it's time to go. If you need something else, just ask. What now? Hey there. Hey, I was thinking maybe we could go to Huber's Comics. Why do you want to go there? Any other memory you're trying to relive? No, it's not that. Do you remember what Stuart used to tell us every Friday when we went to the store? How could we forget it? He was always telling us about his extremely rare collector's edition items. Never taken out of the packaging, in perfect condition, and so on. Exactly. If I remember correctly, he used to talk about the grognak axe and suit. 
He always said that the display version was a replica and that the original version was hidden in his basement of rarities. What if we go see if it was true? The complete suit could be a good acquisition. Oh, that place? I already cleaned it out. Wow, I can see you've been busy. So what I have in mind will be less dangerous. I think you're right. It's worth a try. Plus, now we can use the axe. I mean, before the bombs fell, chopping people with an axe might have been frowned upon. Cool. So, what do you say? Shall we get going? Well, if your dream is to become the first otaku of the Commonwealth, let's make it a reality. Good answer. Although, no matter what I'm wearing, I won't forget what a shower is.
Got it. What do you want? <clears throat> What's up? That's all for now. Okay.
Heads up. Did you need anything? It's hard to believe. This place was so full of life not long ago. And now, it just seems like a cemetery. Well, to be honest, you shouldn't expect anything different from the places we used to frequent. Yes, I know. It's just that it makes me a little sad to remember the past. But anyway, we should focus on what we came here for. You're right. Do you have any clues? Stuart always talked about his treasures, but never said where he hid them. Well, we know it's a basement. That narrows the search area to the first floor. Also, I'm 100% sure that the entrance is hidden under a rug or something similar. To be honest, I can't imagine Stuart doing anything more complex than that. All right, that sounds like a plan. Let's start searching then. Seeing these things brings back good memories. Well, this place looked like a drug den to me.
understand why this damn thing won't open. How can it be so difficult? Come on, little bunny. I'm losing my patience. This will also go in your report. Do you want to stop calling me that? Besides, you're not being very helpful. You're supposed to teach me. You've been at it for about 30 minutes now. You better start thinking of a better idea. Is this a joke? It's even better than your stupid idea. Who would think of trying to drag a safe to the base? <laughs> Maybe you're right, but I am your guide and you are my apprentice. The boss only cares about what I say. Damn idiot. You're the worst guide one could wish for. How do they expect me to learn anything? I don't know and I don't care, but you better start contributing to the gang. Besides, you know what happens to pretty women who don't contribute. The other job, I think, won't be so pleasant for you. Ugh, oh, disgusting. You're such a damn pig. Why don't you shut up and help me with this? <clears throat> are we interrupting something? If you were busy, we could come back later. What? Who the hell are you guys? Nobody you're interested in. My friend and I came here to look for some things, and it seems like you beat us to it. Your friend? Wait a second. Oh shit. Are you synths? What the hell is the Institute doing here? The Institute? Synths? What's a synth? Don't worry, the Institute is not here. And we're not synths. We're just twins. People always think we're synths. Do you expect me to believe that just that easily? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't put a hole in your head. Wait, I don't understand. What's going on here? What's a synth? Why should we be concerned about that? I think you're fairly new to the Commonwealth. Synths are robots created by the Institute to replace people in the Commonwealth. Those things are dangerous and indistinguishable from a real person. This is a joke, right? That makes no sense. They look almost identical because they're twins. Have you never seen twins before? Thank you very much, miss. Finally, someone with common sense. But setting this issue aside, you two are in the wrong place at the wrong time. Based on your attire and your previous conversation, I imagine you're a couple of damn raiders. Oh, really? And what are you going to do about it? Do you think I'm afraid of you? By the way, what are you guys doing in this place? You don't seem to be reading enthusiasts. Nothing that concerns you. Why don't you just leave this place instead? You know, I'm feeling in a good mood. You're training your pupil. Why don't you take her somewhere else and we avoid an unnecessary fight? I don't give a shit how you feel. You and your synth friend get out of here and no one will have to die. Wait, what are you doing? You should listen to them. They're giving us a chance to get out of here. Shut up! Behave like a raider or I'll put you in your place myself. Well, the train just left. I think we're now moving on to a less friendly negotiation. Listen, girl, he's clearly using you. And from what I see, he has no interest in helping you. Clearly, he and his gang have other plans for you. Plans that I don't think will benefit you much. Take your things and leave this place. We'll take care of your friend. Do you think Bumble is stupid and will fall for that cheap talk? You'd better try something else. Let's try to solve this as business people. How much do you want for the little bunny? You get some caps, no one has to die, and the little bunny becomes my property. I like that idea. I think we can mutually benefit. But you must understand that a piece as clean as this can cost a lot of caps. Just look at her, without any scars, pale as snow, clean, healthy, beautiful teeth, auburn hair. She's a wonder. I'm selling it to you for 10,000 caps, believe me. I've offered it to people who would pay double for it. What are you talking about? I am not your property. I am not anyone's property. You can't do this. Shut your mouth and let the adults talk. Unless you want to face the three of us. Is that what you want? What? No. No, but please, just don't do this. Please. Thinking more clearly, I think it's too expensive. Not worth it. No deal. As you wish. In that case, we'll have to solve this in another way. You know what? I don't feel like wasting my time with garbage like you. Any last stupid thing you want to say? That's it. You two consider yourselves dead. Come on, Bumble. Let's gut these morons.
Heads up. Tell me how- Have you found something useful? Nothing. The safe is practically empty. And it's the only thing that seems to have any value in this place. Perhaps the axe and the suit are no longer here. I think we arrived too late. Hmm, I don't think so. Stuart loved these things more than his own life. I doubt he would leave them in plain sight or inside a safe. It would be too obvious. Do you think he could be hiding something else in the basement? That's right. We should search for any other hidden room or closet. Perhaps a button in some corner. There has to be something more. Hey, do you have a minute to talk? I'll try not to take up too much of your time. Sure, is something wrong? No, everything is fine. In fact, I'd say things are more than fine. I just wanted to let you know that this journey with you has been incredible. Far beyond what I expected, to be honest. After spending so much time locked up in that lab, even the Commonwealth seems like a good place to be. I'm glad you're enjoying the journey. I can imagine being locked up in that lab for so long must have been terrible. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, it was terrible. But I don't want to talk about it. At least not right now. I just wanted to say that I consider you a great friend, as strange as that may sound. You know, being the same person and all. Not that it makes much of a difference, but I just wanted you to know. Don't worry, it doesn't sound strange at all. It's normal for us to have a lot in common. But I appreciate your honesty. So, what do you say? Shall we keep moving forward? Thanks for understanding. Who knows, maybe we'll become best friends without even realizing it. All right, I won't take up any more of your time. Let's get going. What the heck is this? Graphene and diamond? What would Stuart use something like this for? That's weird. Was he trying to build something indestructible? What is this? Wig, dress, hairbrush, I, I don't remember Stuart having a girlfriend. Right, he always seemed kind of lonely, but if that's the case, I'm glad he found someone. What are all these things? Liquid silicone, collagen, gelatin? What would Stuart use this for? If I recall correctly, those products were used for prosthetics, synthetic skin, and things like that. Did Stuart have skin problems? Not that I remember, his skin seemed healthy. Hey, look at this. Are those bags of human blood? Why did Stuart have a bathtub full of human blood in his basement? What the hell? That's not normal at all. I think Stuart was hiding a big secret. Two toothbrushes, two hairbrushes, and other utensils. He was definitely living with someone here. Stuart was always a solitary person. I'm glad he found someone to share his life with. remember this, from before the war. These things were the most powerful GPUs for artificial intelligence. I remember they were very expensive. Why would Stuart need so many? Was he trying to build a robot? Okay, this isn't normal. Why would Stuart have so much women's clothing in his basement? Yes. Excellent. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Yes. There we go. Yes. This mini living room looks equipped for two people. Perhaps Stuart survived the bombing here with someone else.
Hey. What's up? <clears throat> Have you found anything that could be useful for us? Yes, but I don't know what to think. Have you seen it? There are a lot of things that don't make sense. Yes, you're right. Liquid silicone, collagen, GPUs for artificial intelligence, graphene, diamonds, women's clothing, and human blood. That doesn't make sense. Maybe Stuart met a woman with some skin problem and needed all of that to build some kind of prosthesis. Stuart was an engineer before he opened the comic book store. He had the knowledge to create something like that. Exactly. So that means there is something else hidden in this place. Whatever it is, we must find it. Hello, and welcome. The chances of you and I meeting face to face like this were almost zero. What? I... I don't understand. Who are you? I am an improved version of your wife. I was created to fix the mistakes she made. I imagine you must have many questions. I will try to answer them, as long as I don't violate any security mechanisms. What the hell is this thing? Is it a synth? A synth? I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with the term. But you just piqued my curiosity. This is a highly improbable event. There shouldn't be two of you. An improved version of her? Fixing her mistakes? What the hell are you talking about? I was created to correct the two biggest mistakes your wife made. Her first mistake was marrying you. I was created with the purpose of correcting that mistake and marrying Stuart. This has to be a joke. Was he in love with my wife? Is that why he did this? What the hell was Stuart thinking? Why did he decide to do this instead of talking to her or moving on with his life? It's easy to answer that. Let me ask you a question. If Stuart had asked your wife to leave you and marry him, what do you think her response would have been? Stuart was my friend. I would have told him that none of that was possible. That things simply don't work out that way. Your response is incorrect. The correct answer was to say yes, that she would have left you to be happy with Stuart. Tell me. Do you now understand the reason for my existence? You said you exist to fix two mistakes she made. May I know what the second mistake is? The second mistake your wife made was having Sean with you. What? No. How can you say something so terrible like that? You can't say that my baby was a mistake. That's enough! Don't say anything about Sean. Don't you dare talk about him, or I'll shut your mouth myself and you won't open it again. This is something interesting. I detect a certain level of frustration in your tone of voice. From both of your reactions, I can deduce that something happened to Sean. Anyway, it's something expected. He was a mistake. His genes were tainted. He should have never existed. Just shut up already! Don't you dare mention my baby again! Your frustration is understandable, but let me ask you a question. If Stuart had asked your wife to form a happy family with him instead of you, what would her response have been? She would have never accepted something like that. She loved me, and that's why she chose to start a family with me. Your answer is incorrect. Stuart taught me that the only way your wife would have been happy was by starting a family with him. I think Stuart forgot something really important. He made a big mistake. He would have never been able to fulfill his sick dream. What you're saying doesn't make sense. Stuart was a perfect man. He was incapable of making mistakes. Haven't you realized? You're a robot, not a human. You're incapable of forming a family. That's correct. My limitations prevent me from starting a family, which is why Stuart tried to help preserve your wife in Vault 111. By ensuring the survival of your wife, it would have opened up the possibility for her and Stuart to form a perfect family. What did you say? How do you know that I was frozen in Vault 111? I know it because that was Stuart's will. Do you really think that your family was selected to enter the vault because of their services to the country? 
Stewart secretly worked with vault Tech to design the cryogenic system. vault Tech relied on Stewart to finish the vault on time, so Stewart imposed one condition on them. To select your family to enter the vault. The life support system of Vault 111 was designed to keep your wife alive, even if it meant sacrificing the lives of other residents. Just one thing was left to the caprice of fate. Who would use the cryogenic chamber designed to endure? You or your wife? It was difficult to predict. One couldn't expect all the instructions to be followed to the letter in the midst of a nuclear apocalypse. But sadly, it seems that you were the one who survived. Although Stuart was a perfect man, the people in charge of assigning the cryogenic pods were not. Is this a joke? Did Stuart really think that if he freed my wife from Vault 111, she would run into his arms to form a happy family? And while he was thinking of a solution, he ended up dying in this filthy hole. It's a pretty concise way to put it, but it's correct. This place was built by Stuart. What happened to him? Stuart died 190 years ago. How did he die? Did you kill him? No. His death was due to unknown causes. He fell ill one day, and his symptoms worsened over time. Due to the imperfection of the base model from which I was created, my artificial intelligence was unable to diagnose the disease. So, he only survived for 10 years in this bunker? What did you do during the other 190 years? That's right. I could only keep him company for 10 years. The other 190 years, I dedicated myself to fulfilling his last wish, to keep this bunker in perfect condition. I never thought I'd say this, but I think it's better this way. If that bastard were still alive, I'd punch him in the face. What can you tell me about this place? Did Stuart take refuge here after the bomb fell? This secret basement was built by Stuart. He needed a quiet and off-the-radar place to be able to build me. Furthermore, Stuart knew that the bombs would fall at some point, so he gave this place a dual purpose. Wait, Stuart knew that the world would be destroyed by war? How is that possible? Stuart was a perfect man. He knew many things and had many contacts in various places. But sadly, despite his perfection, he could not predict the exact date of the bomb's fall, so this place was not finished. What do you mean by that? To me, it seems quite finished. Stuart had other projects in mind, however. Due to the lack of resources, they could not be finished. It's my turn now. Let me ask you a question. One of us is a synth. Between the two of us, can you tell me who the synth is? Although it is an almost impossible event, it is of no importance. There is no need to provide an answer. I must analyze the information acquired from our conversation. I must leave you for a few minutes. By the way, Stuart left something for you. This key will allow you to access Stuart's personal terminal. Hey, did you need anything? I can't believe Stuart built this thing. Do you think we can destroy this thing in a direct fight? I doubt it. You saw what we found upstairs. If the skeleton of that thing is made of graphene and diamond, nothing we have will harm it. He always seemed so caring towards our wife, like they were best friends. But now I understand it all. And all those pictures he took of us, saying they were for store promotion. But in the end, he was just building this thing. I don't know what to think about all of this. There's nothing to think about, he was just a damn psychopath, we just didn't realize it. I think you're right. What he did wasn't a display of love. It was just a perversion of a damn sick person. If he hadn't died, who knows what other things he might have done. What do you think we should do with this damn thing? We can't leave it here. We don't know what it's capable of. She speaks of Stuart as if he were a god. We must destroy this thing. Do you think we can turn off that thing somehow? Maybe hack it? Hack an AI? You must be joking. I don't think we can do it even in a million years. But I realized something. The times you pretended to be in favor of Stuart seem to affect her in some way. It's an artificial intelligence created by Stuart. Perhaps if you pretend to be on her side, we could find a way to make it be on our side. I'll see if I can find something else that helps us make a decision about what to do with it. Understood. It's better to be well prepared. I think the last thing we should do is fight against this thing.
<clears throat> Welcome back. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Can you tell me more about yourself? If you are an artificial intelligence created to be like my wife, does that mean you think like my wife? You're mistaken. I wasn't created to be like your wife. I was created to be better than your wife, to correct her incorrect decisions. My intelligence was trained through thousands and thousands of records stored by Stuart. But Stuart included improvements in my way of thinking. He instructed me to understand that a life where your wife belongs to Stuart is the right one. It is the only way there can be happy and fulfilled. A life where we form a family with Stuart is the only life that you and I should choose. During all the time you were here, what things did you do for Stuart? I was designed to follow Stuart's orders. My job was to fulfill any desire Stuart had. Don't you hear how you sound? Belonging to Stuart? My wife was not an object. And what if she wanted to decide? Was she not free to choose what she wanted for her life? Of course, she was not an object. But Stuart represents perfection. Whatever he decides is right. And he has decided that your wife belonged to him. On the other hand, of course, she was free to choose. No one can deny her right to decide. She was free to choose Stuart above all else. You know what? Forget it. I don't think we're getting anywhere with this. Understood. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Stuart was a damn sick man. Just another run-of-the-mill psychopath. He wasn't a genius, or a perfect being, or any of the nonsense you've been saying. And you, you're just a toy to satisfy the needs of that piece of shit. But don't worry, I'm going to make sure that you and the legacy of that idiot disappear forever. Everything you've said only reaffirms the purpose of my existence, but it's to be expected that a human being can make mistakes. Hey. Tell me how I can help. I can't believe Stuart built this thing. I'll see if I can find something else that helps us make a decision about what to do with it. Understood. It's better to be well prepared. Excuse me. Welcome back. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Wait, I need to do something first. Sure. Welcome back. Is there anything else I can assist you with? During all the time- I was designed to follow- Uh-huh. Stuart, he wasn't a G. And you, but don't worry. Everything you've said only re- Excuse me. Initiating defense protocol. <laughs>
Violence per minute. Defense protocol. Use of extreme violence. It's permitted. Do. Do. Do not destroy. 
Stewart's. Hey. Tell me Dream. how I can. What can I say? I think it's one of the most bizarre things I've ever seen in my life. I'm glad it no longer exists. I agree. I've seen many strange things in the Commonwealth, but this was definitely something else. I suppose getting rid of this thing was the best decision? By the way, that thing had the axe and the suit. I think someone owes me a, you were right. The set was exactly where you said it would be. Huh, you were right. Good job. I guess it will come in handy for us in the Commonwealth. And most importantly, you can be the first otaku in the Commonwealth. Congratulations on the achievement. Haha, <laughs> very funny. You'll thank me when we split a death claw in two with that thing. By the way, before we leave this place, let's get rid of the remains. I don't want that thing to revive and come after us. I agree. We should also get rid of Stuart's remains. Hey. What now? Hey, do you have a moment to talk? Sure. Is there any other place you'd like to visit? Yes. I was thinking maybe we could go to West Everett Estates. I'd like to find out what happened to our old friends. You mean Wayne and Bonnie? I guess you hope to find them alive, don't you? What? No, no, nothing like that. I just want to pay a visit, see what happened to them. Anyway, they were our best friends. Do you remember David's reaction when he saw Sean for the first time? Yes, I remember it well. He said he would be his big brother. He was a very nice boy. His parents were also amazing people. They always talked about a shelter they were building. Who knows? Maybe they were able to spend their last days there. From what I recall, Vault 75 was being constructed near West Everett Estates. I hope Wayne and his family weren't selected to enter there. After what Vault Tech did to us in Vault 111, I don't even want to imagine what they could have done to them in Vault 75. I don't think Wayne would have wanted to enter there. He never trusted Vault Tech. That's why he built his own bunker. I want you to be honest. What do you expect to find at West Everett Estates? Relax, nothing in particular. I just want to visit a place I have very fond memories of. Anyway, I hope we don't find any surprises. I think what happened with Stuart was more than enough. That's right, I had forgotten about that. Well, let's go then. But I must warn you, the last time I passed by that place, it was full of super mutants. We must proceed with caution. I was hoping you'd say that. I'm getting used to the idea that there's no safe place left in the Commonwealth. Let's get going.
nice. Got it. That's it.
sweet. Hey. Tell me how I can help. Hi. Well, I was expecting a bigger bunker, to be honest. Apparently this place was in use, at least for a while. Maybe they were able to take refuge in the bunker after all. I'll take a look around the place. Maybe we'll find a clue about what happened to our friends. Understood. I'll also see if I can find something. This place is a dump. Hey. What do you want? Hey there. That's all for now. Okay. Got it. Only opens with hey, a key. You stop right there. Don't move or I'll blow your head off. Come here quickly. We have a problem. 
Wait, don't shoot. I'm not your enemy. We've been sent by the same person. Wait, don't shoot. Didn't the Institute tell you that I'm in charge of the rescue mission? Wait, don't shoot. Didn't the Institute tell you that I'm in charge of the rescue mission? Did... Wait, don't shoot. Didn't the Institute tell you that I'm in charge of the rescue mission? Wait, don't shoot. Didn't the Institute tell you that I'm in charge of the rescue mission? Wait, hold on. I need a minute. What is all of this? First, tell me who you are. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess we have to start from scratch. I am X00, a fourth generation synth created to replace Strong. But before I could proceed with the plan, a group of high level scientists were kidnapped by super mutants. Since I am the first viable super mutant they were able to create, they reassigned me to this mission to infiltrate and rescue the scientists. I see. And why are you so surprised that the Institute sent us? Father always said that you had to fulfill a very important task in Vault 111, although he never gave us the specific details. And even though you are just a third generation synth, you are the deadliest synth the Institute has ever created. I can see they sent you completely blank. I'll try to answer your other questions, but keep in mind that we need to hurry. What can you tell me about yourself? Why do you have the voice of a woman? That was a decision made by those who organized the infiltration mission. They gave me this unique characteristic to stand out among the other mutants and get closer to their leader. Fortunately, it worked. And now I'm the right hand of the leader. Well, tell me about the mission. How can we help you? Although I have become the right hand of the leader, they don't let me get close to the prisoners. However, I managed to convince him to keep them alive. I told him that the longer they are kept alive, the more mature they will become, and the better they will taste. Somehow it worked. Let's just say they are not very intelligent. What do you mean by the deadliest synth created by the Institute? Tell me everything you know about me. Well, I don't know much more than you do, to be honest. I only know that you are a project called The Source. And that by father's decision, they implemented the most lethal technologies in you, removing all the limiters in your configuration. Maybe this is something natural for you, but I'm sure that in combat you can see the probability of a bullet hitting a target. And you could even shoot a grenade out of the air. Additionally, while calculating the probability of a bullet hitting its target, time would seem to slow down for you. I'm almost certain that you could kill a Deathclaw or a Courser without much effort. You are the most terrifying killing machine the Institute has ever created. Hold on. All that you're saying is true, but it's my Pip-Boy that allows me to do those things. How can you be so sure that I'm a synth? All fourth generation synths have knowledge about you. Although we do not know the purpose for which you were created, we are aware of your characteristics. By the way, if you have doubts, you should try fighting without your Pip-Boy. Probably the result will be the same. Is there anything else you can tell me about me? Hmm. No. I'm sorry. I don't have any more information about you. Perhaps one of the scientists could help you. Lena is the highest ranking one within the Institute. Maybe she could know things about you. I understand. So the mission is to enter, kill everything we see, and rescue the scientists? It's not that simple. The leader ordered to kill them if they try to escape, or if anyone attempts to rescue them. But now that we are three, we can follow a different plan. I will take you to the leader as if you were my prisoner. Once we are in front of him, you will be able to challenge him to a duel for leadership of the gang. He won't be able to refuse. If he does, he'll look like a coward in front of a human, which would turn the other super mutants against him. Oh, this is perfect. So if someone has to die, it will be just me, right? Why haven't you challenged him yourself? Being alone, I couldn't take that risk. If I had died, it would have left the scientists at their mercy. But now we have a real opportunity to do this safely. What do you say? Okay, sounds like a good plan. If anything goes wrong, I guess we can improvise on the go. Don't worry, everything will be fine. Just follow me. Don't stray too far from me and we'll be allowed to reach the leader. Understood. Let's go save those scientists. Okay, before we leave, take this. It's the key to enter the metro station. Wait a second. Now we're helping the Institute scientists? Have you forgotten what they did to us? Of course, I haven't forgotten. But if we save them, we can talk to them. Do you understand what I mean? Oh, yup. I understand. I'm sorry, I guess I wasn't thinking straight. In that case, let's go talk to them.
How about we talk about the plan? Do you have something in mind, or do you want to know my opinion? How about we talk about the plan? And what if he refuses the duel and decides to just kill us? Have you thought about that? How about we talk about the plan? How about we talk about the plan? I don't know. It sounds dangerous. Is there no other way to do this? How about we talk about the plan? Well... How about we talk about the plan? Well, at least now we have two options. I guess our chances are improving. How about we talk about the plan? Is there any other strategy? You know, just in case the other ones go wrong. How about we talk about the plan? Well... How about we talk about the plan? So... How about we talk about the plan? Take me to the guard. I'll try to trick him. We'll get the scientists out and get everyone out without putting anyone in danger. All right. I just hope you know what you're doing. These guys are incredibly stupid. Try to take advantage of that. Follow me closely. If you stray too far, they'll shoot you. Wait a second. What if something goes wrong, or if we decide to start shooting at the super mutants? Whom will you support? There is no more time left to come up with a new plan. If things get out of control, you will have my full support. That sounds good. So we can change the plan at any time. All right, let's move forward. Heads up. What's up? Excuse me. All right, what's up? That's all for now, okay. Move aside, guys. The Wish leader is waiting for the ship. Was short. Go away, bleeder. And rip his legs clean off. Hungry. I'm taking these prisoners to the leader. Go away, bleeder. Go away, bleeder! Go away, bleeder! Out of the way! I'm taking these prisoners to the cell. Go away, bleeder! Stop right now! What is Cannonball doing here? Who are these humans? What do you think we're doing here? I'm taking these humans to the cell. No, that's forbidden! Guardian doesn't allow anyone to enter. Not even the second in command. All right, that's enough, I've had it. I'll talk to the leader to have this idiot's head busted. Wait, I don't want my head smashed! Who are you? Why do you know the leader? Wait a second, is he really asking who we are? God, I can't believe the poor service in this place. It's unacceptable. Sorry for the trouble. Leader probably didn't tell the guard. I'm sure if you explain, he'll let us pass. Can you see the tremors in your hands? That's due to poor nutrition. If you don't eat something soon, you could lose both hands. No, 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 no! Me don't want to lose hands! Please, you cook scientists! You give me nutrients! Okay, me open door! Cooks can go in to see prisoners! Go away, bleeder! Well, well, look what we have here. 
Are you enjoying the hospitality of the super mutants? What? Who are you? Well, it doesn't matter. Please, you have to get us out of this place. Finally. The Institute has sent reinforcements, although they took an eternity. I'm going to escalate this to the Council. Oh, thank heavens, please. You have to get us out of here. Those monsters are about to eat us. Don't worry. As I promised you, I have obtained help. We will soon get you out of here. Not so fast. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to get you out of here. But things will go much faster if you answer my questions. I want to know who I am. I want to know if I'm a synth. I want to know what the Institute did to me. Listen, nobody besides me could know this. However, I still don't know many things about you. I only know that you are a project that Father worked on personally, classified as the Source. And within you are the most advanced technologies that the Institute has been able to develop. Very well. We're finally getting somewhere. Now tell me one thing. Between the two of us, who was the synth and who was the original? Hmm, I don't know. It's impossible to know. As I told you, you are an incredibly advanced project. And the synthetic version of you doesn't even have a synth component inside the head. The Source is a unique synth of its kind. Damn bastards. They did this to us and they don't even know who the original is between us. There isn't even a way to find out. All of this was for nothing. Well, I guess now we must decide what to do with them. Please wait. I know how you must be feeling right now, but don't be angry with the others. If it helps, I can still answer some questions. What did the super mutant who brought me here mean when he said that I am the deadliest synth created by the Institute? You are a very special synth. You carry the latest technologies from the Institute, and you have no limiters to use those technologies. You are a kind of superhuman. On the other hand, the original version also has the same technologies. That was a decision made by Father, so that nothing would happen to his family. One of you is a synth, and the other is a human modified to be an unstoppable weapon. Tell me, were you never afraid that something could go wrong and I would turn against you? Several members of the Council opposed your creation, but Father did not allow anyone to stand in the way. Many were afraid of you even if you wanted to. You could crush the Institute on your own. Very well. Tell me, why was a synthetic version of me created? What did the Institute hope to achieve with that? This wasn't a decision of the Institute. It was a decision of Father. You were created solely by him. Then why? What did he hope to achieve with that? He could have just taken me out of there. Because he wanted to know what you would do. He wanted to know if you would come for him and try to find him even after all this time. But of course he didn't want to put his only remaining family in danger. That's why he decided to create a synthetic version of you. His original plan was to place the synthetic version in Vault 111 and move the original to a secret institute facility. That way Father would get his answer without endangering his family. I woke up in Vault 111. So that means I'm a synth. My whole life, everything I thought I was, is a lie. That's not entirely true, although a synth is a 100% exact copy of its original version. Father wasn't convinced that what the synth did would represent the original version. So he made a decision. He secretly created another synth and gave it a unique task. The new synth had to decide whether to put the original or the synth inside Vault 111. Once the task was complete, the synth was programmed to self-destruct. The truth is, I don't know why Father left this to chance, but there is no way to know if you are the synth or the original. This is a personal question for you. Have you ever felt remorse for the things you do? No. Everything we do is to improve the world, to push humanity towards a better future. I will never regret anything that I have done. Let's just forget about this. I don't want to know anymore. Understood. I won't say anything else then. Please don't be angry with them. There are many secrets within the Institute. This is not their fault. These idiots kept you locked up for a long time. You should make them pay. I think it's only fair that you decide their fate. Thank you. That's very considerate of you. Open the door. I'll pay them back in kind, just as they do. Wait, you can't do this. I won't allow it. Excuse me? You won't allow it? Don't forget that the Institute sent us on this mission. Who do you think you are to go against their orders? Please, just let them do their job. If the Institute sent the Source Project, it was for a good reason. Don't interfere with their decision. The Institute sent them as special agents. 
We must not oppose their decisions. For the love of God, stupid super mutant, just get out of the way and let us get out of this place. I know you've helped us survive, but please don't get in the way now. Just let us get out of this place. But don't you understand what they mean by pay them back in kind? It's not what you're imagining. You hurt the scientists. Besides, the Institute has its reasons for this. Now get out of the way. I guess you're right in a way. You two are the last ones to arrive, which means you have more updated orders than I do. Fine, I won't get in the way. You can do what you were ordered to do. All right, just open the door and let's get this over with. Well, time to pay. and loot in the same place. What more could you ask for? Heads up. Did you need any? Well, revenge isn't as bad as some people usually say it is. We don't have back what they took from us, but in a way, we made sure these idiots won't do the same to anyone else. We'd better leave this place behind before we find any more trouble. Couldn't agree more. Let's get moving. Look alive. What's up? Every place we visit has a different surprise. Who would have thought that Wayne's bunker would end up being a shelter for super mutants? You're right. Quite strange, to be honest. Going from a peaceful life to this, it's enough to drive one mad. I was thinking the same thing. You know, this may be weird, but I'm glad to have you around. I mean, after all that we've lost, maybe we don't have better company than ourselves. Wow. It's not normal for you. Well, me. Well, you know. It's not normal for us to be so sentimental. It's something strange. But the truth is, I also like having you around. Maybe it's weird like you say, but at least I know you're not going to shoot me in the back. Thank you for your vote of confidence. Although it may not seem like it, it means a lot. By the way, despite everything that's happened, I've been really enjoying this journey with you. I think I'm satisfied with everything. Although I'd like to visit one last place. I'd like to go to Fraternal Post 115. That was supposed to be our last family activity before the bombs fell. Honestly, I don't expect to find anything there. But for the sake of nostalgia, I'd like to visit the place. Sure, no problem. Actually, I'd also like to visit that place. Let's get going. Hold up a sec. Time to die. everybody. Ray. And... Yes. Put up here! 
Alive. What now? <clears throat> it's amazing that this place is still standing. If the bombs hadn't fallen, our family would have been honored in this place. It would have been a nice memory. I think we were all very excited. I still remember practicing in front of the bathroom mirror. Sean was still a baby. But I'm sure he would have been proud of us. Who knows? Maybe that would have motivated... Did you need anything? At last you woke up, I was starting to worry. What happened? How did we get to this place? I don't remember anything. I'm not sure. I woke up a couple of minutes ago, but it seems like someone kidnapped us and brought us to this place. Why would someone do this? We should be careful, at least until we figure out what's going on. This place looks like an escape room. I think for now, we'll have to play along with the game. Have you found out anything about this place? Nothing. But be careful with what's on the chandeliers on the walls. They look like gun barrels. Do you have any ideas that could help us get out of here? Hmm. That terminal on the table might have a clue. Also, there are many doors. We should open them carefully. Let's keep looking for clues. Anything we find could help us get out of here. I agree, but be careful. If you get blown up, we won't get out of here.
No way to pick this. Hell yeah.
useless. Stop that! Got it. What's up? I'd like to trade some items. Can't pick this.
Shit. Hell yeah.
Hey. What now? You have anything to trade? Hey. Tell me how I... Finally, outdoors. That place was starting to stress me out. It's a relief to be outside. I never thought a place like that could become so stressful. By the way, did you see the signature in the terminals? Do you think the person who brought us here was... Stop! Don't say it. I don't want to think about it. If those damn institute bastards were capable of doing something like that, I'm going to kill every single one of them. But don't you have any curiosity to know the truth? You saw the Vault 111 jumpsuit on the table? Yeah, I saw it. But it doesn't matter. We gain nothing by dwelling on it. We already have enough on our plate without wondering who among us is a synth. Do you really think pondering if our entire family was replaced by synths will help us in any way? You're right. I'm sorry. I guess now we should only worry about ourselves. I didn't mean to reopen old wounds. That place was clearly built before the bombs fell. Why would anyone construct something like that? I guess psychopaths, murderers, and all that garbage existed even before the world was destroyed. How are you holding up? We went through a lot in there. I think we barely made it out alive. Don't worry. I'm fine. It takes more than a bunch of hungry dogs and a radiation bath to stop me. Let's forget this place. Like all the others. Let's just move on with our lives. Is there anything else you want to do? To be honest, no. I've had enough of traveling. No matter where we go, it's just remnants of our past life. I think you're right. It's better to move on with our lives. By the way, there's something I want to tell you, but it might sound really strange. I don't even know where to begin. How about you start from the beginning? I mean, that might help, right? What? Oh yeah. Let's go back to Vault 111. That way I'll have time to think things through and not sound like a fool when I say it. Hmm. Alright. Let's go back to Vault 111. But remember, you can tell me anything. You shouldn't worry about something like that. Thank you. I know I can trust you. In the end, you're the only person I have by my side. But let's go back to the vault so I can think things through properly. What do you want? Hey, I think I've got things figured out. Do you have time to talk? Sure. All right, now are you ready to talk? That's right. Now I have a clear mind. First of all, I wanted to thank you for accompanying me to all the places I asked you to. Perhaps my intentions were a bit naive, still holding on to the idea that there could be something of my past life out there. But in the end, it's just as you said, there's nothing left. I also wanted to apologize for putting you in danger several times. Maybe if I had accepted the reality sooner, we wouldn't have had to go through all those things. Don't worry. You don't have to apologize. I'm already used to dealing with that kind of trouble. Honestly, I enjoyed visiting those places too. It wasn't a hassle at all. I think we make a great team. If you want to do something like that again, just ask. I'm here for you. Thanks. I truly feel that you've become a great friend. I know neither of us imagined things would turn out like this. Our home destroyed, our family torn apart. Even ourselves unsure if we're truly human. God. I almost feel like I'm going crazy. Hey, wait. Try to take things calmly. I know all of this is hard, and neither of us asked for it, but we can't give up now either. 
The only thing we can do is move forward. We can fight for what we still have. We can build a new life, a new family, honor the memory of our loved ones. In the end, it's our choice. And if there's one thing I'm sure of, it's that we've never given up. I know, and you're right. We've never given up. No matter the situation, we've always found a way to move forward. I'm truly grateful that you rescued me from that place. In a way, you're the one who gave me this second chance. I don't think I can ever thank you enough. I'm glad we were able to clear everything up. It's good to have someone to talk to every now and then. So tell me, is there anything else you'd like to do? No. Actually, I don't. I think I've had enough with all of this. If you don't mind, I'd like to stay with you. All right. I think we've been dramatic enough. We've wasted enough time here. Time to move on. Oops, sorry about that. You're right. Drama isn't our thing. Lead the way. I've got your back. Heads up. Did you need anything? Hey. Need anything before we go? That's all for now. Okay. Heads up. What now? All right, I guess we're ready for now.